Hey guys, I'm pretty new here. My name is Rowan and I'm a fresher studying engineering at Wadham College. Fresh is pretty hectic for me and I honestly haven't processed it all yet. So I'm actually going to talk about something I know my past self would have appreciated this time of year and that's admissions tests. Lots of subjects you apply for at Oxford will require you to take some sort of admissions test. For example, if you apply for history, you might have to take the HAT or the history admissions test. These tests are taken in early November time. I took the PAT or the physics admissions test in November 2015. The test must have gone all right because I got myself an offer and a place but I'm not an expert or an admissions tutor, so do look for other information about your test after this video. So a question you might have is just how important are these tests for your application? From what I know, pretty important. Oxford gets a lot of very good applications from lots of different places. They need a way to directly compare applicants who have very different qualifications. Unfortunately, departments can't interview everyone, and I know that some departments, like maths and physics departments, use the test as a, a way to choose who they will take to interview. The test is not just used as a cut-off for interview as well, though. It's used throughout the whole process. It also helps to decide who they're going to give an offer to. So at this point, some of you may be feeling pretty scared. Please don't panic. This was me. These tests, although they can be prepared for, aren't designed to be tests you do loads and loads of revision for. Oxford wants everyone to be in the same boat. For most tests, it may just be a case of familiarising yourself with the format of the tests, looking at some of the past papers and the guidance given to you by your department's website. And then just please don't panic. Everyone feels the same. However, for some other subjects, you can and probably should prepare for them. The mat maths and the pat physics have their own syllabuses containing things you may not have yet learnt in school. You will unfortunately probably have to learn these things. I'd say it's pretty useful to also practice these tests using the past papers provided by Oxford University. This is how I revised for the pat. I did mat papers and pat papers. Unfortunately, Oxford doesn't provide the mark schemes for these papers, but you can find other people's solutions online. I use physicsandmathsteacher.com, which I will link below. Another question you may have is what mark should I be aiming for in my particular admissions test? Some subjects release reports on the tests um, which will state what mark you needed to get to get an interview, for example. However, this varies from year to year because the difficulty of tests vary from year to year, so there should never be a mark you should be aiming for. But the better you do, the just the higher chance you have of getting an offer anyway, so you should just be aiming for 100%. <laughs> It is worth noting though that for the PAT, the Physics Emissions Test, if you have uh, applied for Engineering or Material Science, you're not expected to do as well in the test as physicists are. Um, for example, I know that the cutoff for the Emissions Test for Physics this year for physicists was 68 marks to get an interview. Most people I've spoken to who got their mark back for the PAT who are doing engineering got in the low 60s. So whilst aiming to do your best, please, please don't panic if you're doing past papers with the PAT and you're not getting what the cutoff mark would be for physicists and you've applied for engineering or material science. If anyone wants my personal admissions test story, I found that the math section of the PAT went pretty well and then I got to the physics section and realised I couldn't answer half the questions because I hadn't really revised the syllabus properly. So instead of like trying to answer them, I just had a little silent cry for the last 20 minutes instead. I don't know who was more surprised when I got an interview, myself or like the other 15 people in the room with me that saw me have a little silent cry. I'm sorry guys. The point I want you guys to take away from this is don't panic. It's not worth it. Applying to Oxford can be a very stressful time. It really, really was for me and it just, just shouldn't have been. It's probably not a useful thing to say, but try to enjoy it. Try to enjoy your subject. Try to show off how much you love your subject. It's really an incredibly exciting time. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Work hard, good luck, and don't pack. <laughs>